What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to This Is Not Police. Uh, we uh, we did pretty good that day. We did pretty good. I may have started working for a mob boss. We may have started getting paid for doing a job we were gonna do anyway. I mean, I wasn't gonna go stop the robbery. What is the what are the police for? What are the police for? So, anyways, yeah, we made like fifteen grand yesterday. Pretty good stuff. And we got a free record, so that's something. Uh, we got the city treasury doles out ninety thousand for the mayor's birthday. Jesus. How is this guy not in jail? $90,000 for his birthday? Six new restaurants appear in the city by year's end. Mysterious Robespierre announces political ambitions. The mayor's a goddamn criminal, man. He can't get on my case about being in with the mob because he's the biggest criminal of all. Dr. Boar, Mr. Boy, this is a very simple test. I'll show you a card with an abstract image. You just take a look at him and tell me what you see. Uh... A man taking a handful of tablets in a barn. Two natives beating drums. I don't see the natives beating drums. Flying severed heads. Let's go with the natives beating drums. A man going back to his house. A butterfly. A man with a clock for a face. A man going back to his house, I guess. A woman decorating a Christmas tree. A dancing girl. A blue alien raping a pig. Yeah, let's go with the decorating a Christmas tree answer. We've got a man giving a woman a Christmas ornament. A tower on a hill. Uh, doesn't look like an automobile accident. A tree which is growing human lungs. Good lord, man. Pieces of the Christmas ornament all over the floor. A uh, man yelling at the woman. Man with the head of a rhinoceros. He does have kind of a horn right there. These don't seem very abstract. This seems like artwork to me. I feel like I'm being railroaded. Uh, an octopus playing the piano. A pile of autumn leaves. I don't think it matters what we pick. Thank you for your time, Mr. Boyd. I will inform you about the test results in the coming days. And what are they going to do? Fire me? I'm already out of here in like 180 days. Shebroom, Shea Broom reelected as Freeburg General Attorney. Major businessman ready to invest in the future of the city. No black employees at City Hall. The mayor says accident. Yeah, bullshit. I got that thing signed in triplicate. I know what's up. Apparently, we get Sundays off. As the police commissioner, we're uh, working hard out here instead of hardly working. We only get one day off a week. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Yeah, go home. You don't look like you're going to be much use to me anyways. We've got badges to award. I'm going to suggest that we give this one to Robbins. Uh, he's been putting in the hours. I can't recall why I gave it to Samadhi. I think it's because he had bad stats and I wanted him to have better stats. And Robbins has been putting in the hours, so we'll give it to him so that he can lead investigations and stuff like that. Shift days turn. Shift days turn. I got a nice bonus. I'm going to buy some music. What's going on here? Let's go. I don't want any of that classical shit, though. We can afford the good stuff, too. What's expensive? What's popping? There we go. Let's go with the late hour because we can afford it. Oh, it's not going to be available till the 31st? Y'all a bunch of criminals. Pre-sales, man. Pre-sales, am I right? Fine, then. I want this one. All right. Kwan Yin Lin turned out to be a member of a gang called the Red Masks. He could help you destroy this gang if you make him an informant. Yeah, make him an informant. So how do I do that? There are a number of gangs in Freeburg, but that also means there will be bounties to collect. Some of the criminals you come across will be members of one gang or another. In exchange for immunity, they may be willing to give up their bosses. Yeah, snitching. We can start to investigate Ning He. In this way, you get your hook into gang members higher and higher in the hierarchy and ultimately take down the boss. If you do arrest the boss, the gang will cease to exist and you claim a reward. 
There is also a reward for formally charging gang members. Whenever you arrest a gang member, you get a bonus, but your deal with this person is over. So don't settle for a small fish. Use the small fish to catch the big fish. Now we'll put Mosier on it. And then we'll have Beasley hang out too. Proceed. A few months ago, an unregistered feminist organization appeared in Freeburg. Today, they're holding their first protest. As far as we know, the organization is backed by foreign sponsors, and their goal is to get people into important positions at City Hall. The protest may escalate into something more serious. We need to show them who's in charge. Use batons, tear gas, and firearms as necessary. Let's show them what intimidation looks like up close and personal. Well, I don't really care that they're a feminist organization, but I am kind of worried that they're backed by foreign sponsors, and they're trying to supplant the, supplant the democratic process by... Using foreign interest to get people into office. I don't know. I swear to God, some of this stuff. About 50 women are gathered in the park, chanting, Let us be successful. You have to send four officers in SWAT. Alright. I'm going to send you guys, and I guess SWAT. Sometimes you got to play the game, I guess. Jack, we have a problem. The chief prosecutor of Freeburg is a woman, and it seems she's on the side of the feminists. You might be walking into some serious legal problems. We better play it safe and fake some evidence to shield you from any possible prosecution. Jesus, man, we're shady as hell. I don't really want to do any of this stuff, but it's 15 grand to fabricate it, and I don't have any of that, so... I can't afford it, so I can't cover my ass. What you want me to do? 15 G's is a lot of money. Got our test results. Your psyche is in good shape. My only concern is your stress level. My research shows that Beethoven's music soothes and relaxes the nervous system. I suggest you invest a bit of old Ludwig or invest in a bit of old Ludwig van. It'll help with any violent urges you might be feeling. A hostage situation. How long do we have with the hostage situation? Because I need more officers to make this happen. Like, everybody is out on this one. Uh, I wouldn't suppress it by force. I don't know. That's what they said to do, though. Apparently, we're kicking asses and taking names. Bao Lang gave several interviews in which he spoke about atrocities committed by the Red Mask Gang. He embellished a lot and distorted the facts. If you want to keep him from panicking, you'll need to take down the gang within the next four days. The investigation is started. Valuables are kept in a safe under the bar. And Ning He is the faithful assistant of Jin Yang, a founding member of the gang. He's entrusted with the most serious jobs. Before the more valuable items are sold, Ning He always keeps them at home. He then brings them to the Wise Dragon restaurant on the day before he's planning to make a sale. He had an immediate buyer for the necklace, so Ning He brought the necklace to the restaurant the same night it was stolen. Usually the restaurant is open around the clock, but it was closed the night before because an important deal was going down. So normally he takes it to the Wise Dragon and keeps it there the day before. However, the restaurant was closed. He has a key to the restaurant door, and the values are kept in a safe under the bar. That sequence shouldn't be too bad. We have a mafia assignment. Jack, we have something going down at the, Rubin or the Rubinovich Casino at 1240. We don't want any policemen in there, so 8,000 is good enough. Alright. We are going to respond full force. A dissatisfied client entered some law offices with a pistol, took several employees hostage, demanded a meeting with the films or the firm's partners. These shyster Jews took me for a ride. They suck up all my money and my son went to jail. Is SWAT not ready to go yet? Or can we only call out SWAT once a day? Oh, you can only call out SWAT once a day. Well, shit on me. That could be problematic. Alright, well, we've got Stovall. We've got Samadhi. We've got Gist. We've got people. We just don't have SWAT, so... Hopefully it works out. We only have Kadal left. We have an arson at the Last Picture Show Theater. We don't really have anybody who's not on the job right now. So that'll just have to wait. I can go to my investigations and I can reassign. Uh, 
Let's put Wolf and Beasley on that one. And we might wait till tomorrow to actually deal with that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to bang out that gang investigation first. Woman Young then set fire to the movie theater during the show, then fled. Okay. Yeah, the gang task force is going to have to do better here. Are these detectives not doing anything? They're at home right now, so they'll lose energy if I put them on it. Okay. But put Armstrong on it. He's looking okay. I want lots of people on this. The Rubinovich Casino at 1240 was the one we were supposed to look away from. The offender was caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Good. I was hoping that would go well. If Jack Black comes back wounded, I'm going to be very, very upset. We will no longer be able to save the world with the power of our rock. It seems like we're going to need tons and tons of money to make certain things happen. So I'm probably going to take a lot of the mob requests because it's either that or they chop up my children. What are you going to do? Oh shit, a civilian was killed. Why is the mob killing civilians? Thank you for doing the thing we asked you. Here's the amount we agreed upon. Yeah, when he called, I've been like, that needs to double or triple. You killed a civilian, which creates paperwork for me, and it makes my life a living hell. So you need to make this worth it, otherwise our arrangement's gonna come to an end real fast. And your safe houses ain't gonna be so safe no more. Mr. Boyd, today we're installing a new slot machine called the Super Magdalene 3. The last time we put in a new one, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day. It'd be great if you could send a couple of men to keep the kids under control. Yeah, they're kids. Send over. Actually, send Kudao. He's new. Send Robbins and Kudao since he's got the uh, promotion. He'll actually send Samadhi. Samadhi's got the promotion, so that'll work. It's just kids. What's the worst that could happen? I doubt we're going to be dealing with, like, pistol pack and thugs over here on arcade day. We got no music right now. I don't know if I want to listen to classical right now. St. John's. A pregnant girl called in a report on a suspicious gynecologist who she met in reception. The doctor was behaving strangely and attempted to persuade the girl to have an abortion even though she was five months pregnant. Through streaming tears, she explained, the doctor said that for only $10,000, he would save me from the parasite inside my body. This sounds like a false alarm. I don't know. This sounds like one of those anti-abortion groups. Agnella Rowdy. I'm not going to point the finger just yet, but I'm not going to send out the A-team on it. Everything went great, boss. In fact, it's been a while since we had so much fun. Beat the hell out of them playing Hellfighter. Cool. $2,000 for the help right there. The police department's been camping the, uh, since Pokemon Go came out every night, there's like 200, 300 people down at the park. I'm going to pause it so I don't have to do all this. There's been 200, 300 people down at the park every single day, all day, every day. That's what the cops have been cool down there. They've had cops down there basically like playing Pokemon Go and just like walking around the park on their phones just like being part of the community, just keeping an eye on things. I'd be like, so how do you get that sweet gig? Like, did they just Rochambeau for it? Or like, how did that go down? Like, because it's only one cop at the park. There's one cop on one side, and then he's got a canine unit with him, I think, on like ready to go. He was talking to somebody the other day. We're going to have to wait on disorderly conduct. Housewife Takara Montez often complains to the police about her neighbors who are constantly making a racket, often organized fights, and refuse to discuss the matter with neighbors. She's called the police again today after hearing loud bangs in the apartment along with loud screams. According to her, six or seven people live in the apartment. Okay, give me some time so I can get Samadhi and Kudao back. Or Kodao back. Doctor spotted the police, grabbed a scalpel, and boldly shouted, Come on, I'll release your souls from the filthy world. Holy shit, it was a real call? No way. Hit him with a taser. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> he's trying to gut somebody. Just zap that fool. Whatever. Deal with the issue. Let's send Stovall, Samadhi, and Kudal. Let's let... Uh, Kudal. Let's have him get some XP. We need him to move on up and get better at his job. We've got uh, Robbins and Samadhi ready to go. Or no, we'll have Robbins, Gist, and Burns ready to go if anything else comes up. Jack, we're about to bring in a large shipment of alcohol, but we've heard our new partners like to play tough. We need a couple of your guys for insurance. 
I ain't got nobody, so... I wish there was an option that said I don't have anybody, so you could make them wait like 20 minutes. We could see what happens. City prosecutors have reason to believe that you seriously exceeded your judicial powers during yesterday's protest. We're calling you in for official questioning. Okay, I'm gonna sell out the mayor, so eh, whatever. I'm gonna sell the mayor down the line in a heartbeat. I don't like that guy. Gotta get on my nerves. We've got a crime in progress, a rape at the True Color Hotel. A call came in from a hotel occupant who was concerned about the cries of a woman in an adjoining room. It sounds to me like somebody is being raped, said the frightened elderly woman. All right, send Robbins, send Gist, and send Burns. Uh, I don't have anybody. I've there's nobody here. I don't know what you want me to do. Fender was caught. Officers unharmed. I mean, you guys handled it, so good job. I mean, there was there was nobody to respond. I don't know what you want me to do. As far as affairs go, I'll probably petition the city hall most of the time to get new job slots for my officers. If we get an request, if we get a equipment requisition from city hall, an increase in detectives might help. I feel like I need to pull detectives off duty for that one, but maybe it'll be there for the next one. Receiving stolen property. We've got three new frames. So he's got a key. Puts the stuff inside. Oh, he's got a key to the door of the restaurant, though. There we go. Ning He, Chinese immigrant. I forgot. He's got a key to the restaurant, not to the safe. He hasn't officially worked anywhere for the past 10 years. Beasley and Mosier are getting pretty good at this. No lie. So we've got receiving stolen property here in the suburb. We're going to need officers to respond. We'll do that in just a minute. Apparently, we're pulling a late nighter. The Rape at the True Color Hotel. The door to one of the rooms on the second floor is standing ajar. And through it can be seen a large man holding a crying girl by the neck. He's striking her in the face and shouting, Shut up, you whore. I paid you now. Be quiet. Yeah, strike him at the knees. Girl managed to escape, but her pimp leaps for the man. Another fright breaks loose. Pepper spray him. Man shoves the pimp away and suddenly jumps out the window. Um... Shoot him in the back. He was reaching. Pop, 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 pop. Um, I want to shoot him after hitting a lady like that, but if he had brass knuckles on for show, that girl's going to need reconstructive surgery. I knew a girl in college that had to have her entire face rebuilt. It's weird, man. Like Until you were exposed to that shit like firsthand, a girl that was in my department with me, her boyfriend beat her so bad they had to rebuild her face with like plastic and all kinds of plexiglass and shit, man. Crazy. I was like, what do you even say about that? I'm like, we're finna to go find this guy. The police already arrested him, but it was like, man, some dudes in the apartment were like, where does he live at? Like, people were ready to go. I I'd be lying if I said I wasn't ready to horse up on that posse. I'm like, where does this dude live at? Uh-uh. We're about to roll up through this dude's window. He's about to find out. Not in our neighborhood. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, somebody might get injured if we jump out of the window. Hey, we got him. Officers unharmed. I figured our numbers were high enough to where we could jump out of the window. My guess is that's actually an internal threshold test. And each option, if you get to a certain amount of prestige or professionality, you'll capture the guy. Alright. So we need officers to respond over here. I don't think this guy is going to be that dangerous. We could support with SWAT, but... We've got a really... we got a lot of professionality ready to go. We'll just raid like so. And we'll see what happens here. And in the meantime, if Mosier's off, Beasley's not that good. So I don't know if I want to put Beasley on this. It's an arson, though. I mean, I guess we'll put him on it. It's not like a super serious crime. Fender was caught. Everybody gets a nice XP. You were able to get all these suspects, so Beasley just got better at his job. And that puts us so with him. We can arrest him for five grand, or we can go after Jin Yang. My suggestion would be that we go after Jin Yang, or we wait until we've got another connection down here. 
and then we work our way up because it looks like we need both in order to get after them. Although that would seem to imply that we would need two in order to go after Ning He, and so we'll wait. Now that that investigation's done, we should be about ready for the end of the day. Investigation is started over here. Uh, theater management, the incident occurred during the screening of Jim Jarmusch's film Stranger Than Paradise. The screen is ruined. Members of the audience suffered minor injuries in the panic, but nobody was seriously hurt. I remember a girl with bright red hair. I sold her a ticket after the show started, although I don't usually do that. She was really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, and I thought it was soda. wouldn't think a pretty lady would come to the movies with anything hard. I sat in the last row. A few minutes after the film started, I saw somebody enter the room and slam the door. I was going to say something because I don't like it when somebody distracts me from Jarmusch's vision. And then I saw a flash of fire and a flaming bottle flew straight at the screen. The screen caught on fire. thought it must be part of the show. You know what I heard? That Jim Jarmusch guy is a nut house. As the fire started, I started looking around for a way out, and that's when I spotted her, the red-headed fool. She ran away real fast, and there wasn't any time to do anything. Okay, that seems open and closed. That seems like it'll be nice and easy to handle. We're out of time for right now. My name is Splattercat. Thank you. No. Are you for real right now? Stovall quit? Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, my God. That puts us in a really rough spot with Shift A. I'm sorry, yeah, with Shift A. He was older, so my guess is that you could probably fire him based on his age and his beard, but that's it for us today. My name is Splattercat. This is, this is the police. Whoop, whoop. I'll see you all next time around. Quack, quack.